What a roller coaster. What a roller coaster for him. So all the players they are hugging. The podiums are being built. Let's go to Stephen Presley, the winning captain with Tim Spence. Stephen Presley, that was as good a cup final as I can recall. It was magnificent and a great result for the Hearts. Great result, but let's not forget Gretner's performance today. That was absolutely excellent and uh, we're delighted. Look at the scenes here today. This is what it means to all the supporters. It's been a very turbulent season and we've repaid them with this. It's fantastic. Um, you know, I've got to give all credit to all the players. We've, As I said, we've experienced a lot this year, but we've shown great unity. But, uh, you know the performance today we looked a rather tired team, but uh, that's what taking anything away from Gretna. It was an end-to-end -end game, and what it did do is it showed that there's quality right throughout the Scottish game. No firm in the final, and yet Hamden chock a block. Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, there's 40 odd thousand of our supporters here, and I think we could have sold it twice over. It's great. You're a good man. Thanks, Thank Steve. Well Thanks done. Very much. Stephen Presley, dignified and thoughtful as always in paying due tribute to Gretna. And I know we're neutral here, lads. You can't help feeling a little sense of disappointment that in the end Gretna couldn't finish the job because they almost wanted it more, Pat. Um, I would say over the piece, you, you could argue they were the better side for most of the second half. It was probably even Stevenson, uh, you know, the extra time. Maybe the better chances, let's be honest, Hearts have hit the post twice. So, uh, you know, nothing much in it, but your heart does bleed for them. Yeah, but Hearts perhaps should have had a penalty. They also had Paul Hartley, sadly, red carded towards the end. Here he is with Jim. Go on. Go. Paul Hartley, a magnificent day for the Hearts and a great day for Scottish football, oh, I thought. Ma oh, magnificent. No, just can't beat it. Um, to fair trade to Great, now they were outstanding, but... No, I think your name was on the trophy from the start, so I'm absolutely delighted. It was absolutely empty, and you unfortunately got a red card. I think that'll only take a wee bit of the gloss yeah, off. It doesn't matter. I mean, we've won the game, so I was a wee bit nervous in the, the changing room there, watching the boys lift the throw, uh, penalty kick, so I'm delighted. And a big, big night in Edmonton tonight. Yeah! Well, Christian is there, leading his side up. A magnificent effort from Gretna, and you do feel for them here. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I, I know there's a lot of stuff about the fairy tale today. I'm not sure if I agree with all of that, but today almost was a fairy tale. The performance was absolutely different class. It has been tremendous from those Gretna players. Mark Birch will remember his penalty, the way he played, but Townsley and Skelton, the man who didn't convert their penalties, it's hard for them. James Grady too, and there's the owner where he should be, just commiserating. And what a great support Gretna had today as well. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Well, it's a walk they didn't want to take. They thought they might have got the winner's medal. Dougie McDonald, who handled this cup final, handled it pretty well, but one decision will be talked about. And that was the penalty kick decision. In the end, Hearts won the trophy as Ryan Alexander comes down the steps. I think you're spot on about the referee. I thought he had a really good game, but you're, maybe you're judged on big, big decisions and big games, and there's no doubt you get that one wrong. So you can see the podium there. Hearts are waiting their turn to go up and collect the trophy. It's every player's dream. And there, the smile says it all for Stephen Presley. Well, Stephen Presley, his son Aaron, led him out for this cup final. And he'll be the last to go up. Tell you what, Stephen Presley deserves everything he gets out of football. Magnificent professional. Robbie Nielsen leading the Hearts players up the steps. What an afternoon Robbie Nielsen had. That tackle was simply fantastic. Craig Gordon will become a cup winner for the first time. Nielsen and Gordon won the Youth Cup of Hearts. Paul Hartley's first major trophy too. Bruno Aguilar going through. Magnus Fikas, he's made history. The first Greek player to win cup medals in three different countries. Tal comes through. 
Ospisil and Bednar. And all the players coming through, Mikulunas, Berra to Chisnauskas, all the Gretna players to a man are standing applauding hearts. Wonderful. All the way through, all these players know. Stephen Presley signed in July 1998. This is 312th appearance for hearts. It's his proudest moment. There's absolutely no doubt about that. For Stephen Presley, he's waited for this. The kiss and the cup. Willie Miller asked the way he held out there. The celebrations at Hamden. The celebrations will be there in Gorgie. There'll be no sleep round Ten Castle tonight. There's a wedding reception in the Gorgie suite. They're about to be gate crashed. A memorable final. A really memorable final. And Rudy Scatchel in disguise. What a part he played. And I guess you can also a feeling amongst those Hearts players a sure relief. Oh, yeah, of course it is. I mean, for the first half an hour, they could have been 3 nothing up, but Grenna came right back in the game, and they're just delighted they've got their hands in the trophy now, and maybe they can look the next season, have the club a little bit more settled, another couple of good signings. Who knows what they could do? Agus Fisas, history for the Greek cup winner. And there's the man, Vladimir Romanov. Well, he's not smiling as much as I thought he might, but all those players taking the chance to lift that famous old trophy for the seventh time it's been won by Hart. Well, an afternoon for Ibrahim Tal as well on his Scottish Cup debut. Craig Gordon, what a part he played. And the Hearts players enjoying it. I thought perhaps also for Wallace Mercer. He passed away. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. So Robbie Nielsen there. The Hearts fans looking on. As they come back down the steps. They will not forget the part that Gretna played in this final. The handshakes, the celebrations. Hearts have won. And Stephen Presley knows it. A night of celebration ahead for the men from Tyne Castle. Brooks Milestone and Alan Main. Well, Alan Main, you feel for him. It's another cup final defeat. But what a player he's proved to be. Oh, he's a great game today, absolutely outstanding. Commanded his box all game, just unfortunate. He didn't have a hope in hell with any of the penalties. Well, Gretna may not have their name engraved on the trophy, but they've touched many here in Scotland on their run. But Valder Simonowskis, first Lithuanian to guide the side to the Scottish Cup and win it. Hearts players now approaching the podium. Jankowskis holding the base of the cup. And moving across, not a Hearts fan has left this ground. And Stephen Presley continues to show off the trophy as Brooks Smileson thanks all of his fans for coming. Supports around about 70 football clubs at all levels. But we are the champions, please. Hearts, Lieutenant Scottish Cup winners of 2006.
Brooks Milestone is out there, hugging all of his players. What a roller coaster. What a roller coaster for him. So all the players they are hugging. As the podiums are being built. Let's go to Stephen Presley, the winning captain with Tim Spence. Stephen Presley, that was as good a cup final as I can recall. It was magnificent and a great result for the Hearts. Great result, but let's not forget Gretner's performance today. That was absolutely excellent and uh, we're delighted. Look at the scenes here today. This is what it means to all our supporters. It's been a very turbulent season and we've repaid them with this. It's fantastic. Um, you know, I've got to give all credit to all the players. We've, as I said, we've experienced a lot this year, but we've shown great unity. But uh, you know the performance today, we looked a rather tired team, but uh, that's not taking anything away from Gretna. It was an end-to-end -end game, and what it did do is it showed that there's quality right throughout the Scottish game. No firm in the final, and yet Hamden chock a block. Yeah, it's fantastic. You know, there's 40 odd thousand of our supporters here. And I think we could have sold it twice over. It's great. You're a good man. Thanks, Thank Dave. You. Well Thanks done. Very much. Stephen Presley, dignified and thoughtful as always in paying due tribute to Gretna. And I know we're neutral here, lads. You can't help feeling a little sense of disappointment that in the end Gretna couldn't finish the job because they almost wanted it more, Pat. Um, I would say over the piece, you, you could argue they were the better side for most of the second half. It was probably even Stevenson, uh, you know, the extra time. Maybe the better chances, let's be honest, Hearts have hit the post twice. So, uh, you know, nothing much in it, but your heart does bleed for them. Yeah, but Hearts perhaps should have had a penalty. They also had Paul Hartley, sadly, red carded towards the end. Here he is with Jim. Come on. Paul Hartley, magnificent day for the Hearts and a great day for Scottish football. Oh, I'm I'm magnificent, oh, just can't beat it.